you know what? I'm still about 185, 190. I gained a little bit of weight, but I'm, I, I just feel good that I'm still alive, first of all, and, uh, and, and, and I'm getting healthy every day. CLNS History is powered by FanDuel, the exclusive wagering partner of the CLNS Media Network. One thing we, we talked about and, and I look back on is during the championship run. And, and I watched you all of a sudden gain confidence into being, you transform into another player. You weren't the scorer anymore. You could be. But what you were were the passer, although you complained to me all the time. God, shooting shots all the time. I ain't getting no damn shot. I'm like, <laughs> why are you telling me that? I ain't got nothing to do with that. You, you were complaining to me like, hey, there we guys shooting all the shots. I got the ball. But, you know, how you transform as a point guard to me was really interesting. It was a, a thing that I learned in high school. Uh, being, uh, you know, committed to trying trying to win and – yeah, I complained to you because you was my buddy. Okay, you 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 was a friend, but you was my brother. And when 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 we started, you know, our journey, a, as far as trying to win games and stuff like that, I just felt like, yeah, I had the ball all the time, and I could probably still score. But I had so many assets around me that could do certain things, and I just wanted to make make that transition and not 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 being a non-scorer but make that transition to trying to be a part of a team all all yeah. my life i've been a part of a team and necessarily not scoring and not maybe passing the ball all the time when i was in high school i was just, i told people we didn't lose a game in high school but i was on a team and god says no you was the man no no i was on the team i was glad to be on the team then you go to school and you just you you know you you, you a player on the team and I, I think that when, you know, growing up, and it doesn't matter where you grow up, Max, just growing up, you just wanted to be a competitor, okay? You just wanted to belong. And when I got there, I didn't know where I fit, okay? But then you, you know, you're talking about Larry, Kevin, Chief. The game became easy, and it wasn't scientific. The game, the, became, the game became easy, and now you have to manage a game. I had to manage that game. Yes, yeah. I took less shots, but I had to manage the game because I had so much great personnel around me, and I just wanted to fit in. <laughs> well, the thing that – here's another thing that people don't know. Nate Archibald was one of the only players to lead the league in scoring and assists ever to do that. Now, you go on from there. H how did your eyes open the first time you saw Larry Bird? Because I had to guard him, but what did you think the first time you saw him? Because you, you were right there that first day. It was it was eye opening because he became to me a basketball player first and then a professor. He diagnosed the game. He 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 knew certain things. But I told people it was just not Larry. It was you. It was Kevin. It was Robert. It was ML. It was Gerald. It was even Fernstein who didn't really play that much. We had guys. We had a different camaraderie than the guys have now. OK, and we still have that. We could talk about it, you know, about the playing aspect. We can't talk about the other things that we did together, going to the movies, going out. Roderick will never go away. The Cedric Maxwell podcast is brought to you by FanDuel, the exclusive wagering partner of the CLNS Media Network.